Christie's Direct, the animal grooming experts. With over 20 years experience, Christie's Direct has grown to over 30 employees, all with the aim of providing our customers with high quality products and market leading customer service. Our warehouse holds thousands of product ranges from leading international brands. We stock everything the professional groomer needs, from professional shampoos, dryers, baths, tables and scissors to suit all needs. Give our sales team a call today on 028 276 66879. My name's Kelly, I'm the owner of Doggy Delights. I've been grooming for seven years, but I've had my shop here for two and a half years. This is our second puppy that we're doing a trim on. He's 14 week old Rocco, a Tibetan Terrier. Uh, what we're doing today is just literally taking off the end, tidying up his feet, tidying up his head, his visor, taking a bit of weight off of his legs, tidying up his towel and doing his nails. He's been to us twice already. Um, first time he came to us at 11, 12 weeks old and had really bad ears, ear canals and he had a bad ear infection. Um, a diagnosis straight away told the owner and he has been having treatment for the last four to six weeks on a severe ear infection. Have bathed him already, dried him, I have plucked his ears, cleaned his ears, done all his sanitary and armpits before the actual grooming now and I did have a lot of problems re-plucking his ears so the more you can get a Tibetan Terrier's ears done even without grooming the better because they do suffer with bad ears. Um, on his first visit to us all I'd done um, was just give him a bath and a tidy under pads ears and just a face tidy that's all he needed doing but for today we're just going to give him a, um, a teddy bear cut of a comb attachment all over. Right Rocco's never been clipped before so to start him off with I just want to make sure he's happy with the clipper just running the clipper along his body getting used to the vibration the noise the sensation Good boy, and praising him the whole time. Good boy, well done. Good fella. Good boy. All around, good boy, well done. What a good boy you are. Good fella. Good boy. So far, so good. We're all okay. Good boy, over the head. Oh, well done. Well done. Oh, you're such a good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Right, as this is his first puppy trim, I'm going to start off with a comb attachment number six, which is the purple just to see what length we take off round his neck and round his chest. Is that a good boy? Start off the back of the neck. Oh, what a good boy. Oh, well done. Well done. Oh, what a good boy. It's taken off about half an inch, which I think is just fine for him. Not too much, because we want to keep him looking like a puppy but enough just to keep his coat in good condition and manageable by the owner. Good fella. Good boy. Stand up. Stand up. Good boy. Always have one hand on the dog whenever you're grooming. Good boy. Stand still. 
Stand still. Good boy. Good boy. Follow the coat line. Good boy. Stand still. Good boy. Well done. Sammy, if you have got a fidgety dog that won't stand still and you do work on your own, it might be wise to put him on a body belt or a head collar, either or both. Just so he gets used to standing still and doing what's expected. Good boy. Well done. Stand still. Good fella. Good boy. Stand still. This way. Come on. Good boy. Good fella. Stand still. Good boy. Stop. You hold in the head. Always hold underneath his chin. So he gets used to being held there because that will come in handy doing the head later on. Good boy. Hold his chin up high, go down his throat. Good boy, well done. Good fella. Good boy. Straight down between the legs, down into his chest. Good boy, stand up now. Good boy. Rocco, stay still. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good fella. We're going to give him a bit of a skirt. We don't want to take him too short just yet, but I will be going shorter down his belly. Stand still. Good boy. Good fella. We'll stop there. Right, Mr. Man. Good boy. Follow your clip line all the way down the leg, in front, and then what I tend to do is go with the inside of the leg at the same time, to keep in the same length all over. Once you've done the leg, lift, gently lift the leg up and run the clipper down the foot. Good boy. Good fella. Good boy. Stay still. Stand still, stand up. Good boy. Good fella. Good boy, well done. And I'll do the same again on the other leg. So both the back legs will be exactly the same. Good boy. Right. Same kind of attachment. I'm just going to take the same length off of the hocks. So it's all got the same length. Good boy. Good fella, and just make sure the knickers are all okay. Right, once I've done the clipping on the outside of the leg, what I then do is go in the inside of the leg with the fillers. And because he's a little bit fidgety on his legs, I've just asked one of the girls just to hold him from the front. With your thinners, just take the weight off on the inside. So once, he's, once the inside leg's done, you've got a nice shape arch. Good boy, good boy, Rocco. Good boy, Rocco. Good boy. To finish the leg off and the foot, I'm just going to go around with my straights just to tidy round his feet. Good boy, stay still. Good boy. Good boy, Rocco. Good boy. Good boy, I know. He's a bit fidgety and he's a bit ticklish with his feet so he's you do what you can and what they let you do good boy well done good fella what a good boy 
Good boy. Good fella. Good boy. It's okay. Rocco, it's okay. Good boy. It's alright, Rocco. Good boy. Good fella. Good boy. Stop, stop. Stop. I'm just going to hold his foot up and just tidy around his pads. Can you just put your hand underneath his belly there for me? Thank you. Right, I'm just going to tidy around his pads. Good boy, it's okay, good boy. He is very ticklish. Good boy. Good fella. Oh, what a good boy. Good boy. Well done. Well done, Rocco. Good boy. So this is only the second time he's been to us. And make sure you give them plenty of breaks in between grooming. Don't expect them to stand on the table for the whole hour, hour and a half. But they're puppies and they just want to get down and play. As the same as the back leg, we're just going to comb attach down his front leg, following the coat line. Good boy, good fella, good boy, good fella, good boy, it's okay, it's okay, no, 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 stop, 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 Chelsea, sorry, I'm going to need your help, just to hold him underneath his muzzle, but he can get a little bit funny with his muzzle, alright, um, as he's, as he's a bit fidgety, I'm just getting one of the girls to hold his head for me, so I can have two hands on his leg, Good boy, good boy, come back, come back, good boy, good fella. So run the clipper down the leg and over the feet and then inside leg, it's okay, oh well done, that's better isn't it, well done, good boy, good fella. Always work with the dog. If the dog, dog doesn't like standing, let it sit. Especially as a puppy and it's their first time. They've got to be enjoying the groom, not making it into a fight between the groomer and the dog. Good boy. Once you've comb attached the leg, all we've got to do now is just scissor up the inside. Use your comb, comb it out, and then just scissor up tidy. Rocco, good boy. Good boy. Well done. Good boy. Good boy. Stop. Shh. Stop. Good boy. Good boy. Well done. Right, once you've done the inside of the leg, I'm just going to scissor around his feet. Good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Nice full foot. We don't want it too short yet because he's got lovely feet and he's still a puppy. Good boy. Good fella. Good boy. Good fella. And all I'm doing now with my scissors, just tidying up the backs of the legs. Nice column shape. Nice. Turn him around for me. Good boy. And then lift his paw up. 
and then just tidy around his underpad. Good boy, good fella. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, well done. And what I've done with this leg, I'll do exactly the same on the other side. Use your comb attachment, come down towards the tail, round into his knickers, take the weight off the base of the tail. Good boy, good boy Rocco. Good boy. Good fella. Underneath. Good boy. Stand still. Stand still. Good boy. And then all I'm going to do lastly is just to shape the tail comb it down and just do a fan tail just take a minute amount of hair off just to shape it and that's that's the tail and the other legs done Off with. We're just going to thin out the eyes. Good boy. Holding in from underneath the chin. Stop, 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 stop. Good boy. Good. If he doesn't let you do that, just gently put your thumb on his muzzle if he fights you. You just want him to be comfortable and you want him to stay still. Good boy. Good fella. Good boy. That's better, isn't it? Isn't that better? And then once we've done that, I'm just going to take the weight off of underneath his jaw. Just to give it a bit of shape. And then just take some weight off by his eyes. Using your thinners all the time. Good boy, it's okay, it's okay. Stop it. Shh, 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 shh. Good boy. Good boy. So this puppy doesn't like being held underneath his jaw, but he quite likes me holding over the bridge of his muzzle. So we work with what he lets us do till he gets used to it. Good boy, well done. Just going to flick the ear back and then just take off a little bit of the hair inside the ear. Just make it nice and neat. And then with the straights, just tidy up the last straggly little bit. Bring the visor forward and then just take off a bit above his eyes. He hasn't got much hair over the top of his head so I don't need to worry about doing a comb attachment just yet. But when they do get older, a 10 and a 4 or a 10 and a 3, sometimes the owner wants a neater head. So all I'm doing now is just taking some weight off of these nose just to blend it all in to make it look neat. Good boy, well done. I see. Is that better? And that's it. And what I do, I do exactly the same for the other side. <music> Lastly, to do is the nails. Now, 
Rocco's got a mixture of white nails and black nails. His back nails are too short to be tipped. They've literally got hardly any white there at all, so I'm not going to do the back. Sit down for me, good boy. I'm just going to check the fronts. It's got a nice long dew claw. It's going to come off. Good boy. The same with his front. He's got a mixture of white nails and black nails. By looking at the white nail, there's hardly any quick there to trim up. So I'm just going to take the tips off. We don't want any of them to be caught to bleed because he'll remember that next time. Good boy, well done. And that's all the nails done. So Rocco's all done now. What we've achieved with a puppy cut, a teddy cut, is a 10 and a 6 comb attachment. Just to take the weight off the body, to shape the legs, tidy the feet, give his head a nice tidy up. Um, but that is really all we should be doing for puppies at this age. Um, I would expect to see him back again in between 4, 6 or 6 to 8 weeks time, depending on how quickly his coat grows. Some owners bring their dogs in every two to three weeks while they're puppies for eye trimming, for nail care or ear plucking if they have an excessive amount of hair. Um, but it's really to, down to the owner and the groomer on what they want to do as regards to the, the actual keeping on the maintenance of the dog. <sighs> We advise owners to, to comb their dog, brush their dog daily, especially as a puppy, to get used to it. Um, combing is more ideal than brushing. Combing goes right through the coat, removes any knots or mats that's there, where a brush will go over the coat and miss anything that's there. Um, we don't recommend bathing dogs more than once a month because you will strip the oils out of the coat. Um, so ideally, so once a month, uh, a bath and a tidy up, either by the owner or by the, with help with the groomer. 